What's up guys, Alan here, and we're doing something a little different today. Today I want to do a, a how-to video on how I made this video my screensaver on my Mac. Now this video is comprised of a few different clips from an app called Marvel The Avengers, a second screen experience. You can get it on the uh, App Store for the iPad. Basically what I did was I used my Elgato Game Capture HD, which is an HDMI uh, capture device used mostly for gaming consoles and PC gaming. Use that, the Apple HDMI adapter for the iPad, and basically recorded these little bitty clips uh, that was hidden within the app and kind of uh, stitched them all together afterwards to make one long video. This uh, screensaver or this video is about four and a half minutes long and comprised of different things, uh, computer images from the movie or basically from this app that I guess they had in the background of the movie. So I wanted to make this my screensaver and I will show you exactly how to do that on the Mac. Uh, basically you're going to need a couple things. Uh, first off you're going to need Xcode from the Mac App Store. Once you get that it'll give you Quartz Composer which is right here. Um, all you need to do is just open that up and choose the screensaver option right here. Get rid of that and hit choose. And you'll come up with this uh, little combination of screens. This is the viewer. It's basically what you're going to be making, what it's going to look like. And then all you need is your video. The, uh, the big important thing is wherever you have your video file, you need to leave it there. Uh, once you move it from wherever you keep it at, you're going to lose the ability. The screensaver is not going to work anymore, basically. It needs to be able to pull the media from somewhere. So here it is. Here's the, this Quartz Composer. You can immediately get rid of these three things. You don't need them. Uh, they're not important. And you can also get rid of that. All you need is these three things right here. And they basically just cut or uh, click and drag your video right in here. Uh, you see image right there. You click on that little circle. You drag it. You don't even have to, you don't have to click and hold. You just click it once and then click there. Boom, you're done. And here's the viewer. This is video. This will work with any type of video. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a limit on file types. I think it's either MOV or MP4 video formats. You're not going to get any sound out of this. So don't expect to get any sound. Um, but it is pretty cool if you got like a short video or something like that that you want to make as your screensaver. I've got this. I've been actually doing this for a while now. I did it a lot with Lion, um, but then I ran into issues once I upgraded Mountain Lion. It wasn't, going, it wasn't working. Apparently there was a problem with uh, how things were coded in Mountain Lion and for the longest time none of this process worked. Um, however, recently I just tried it again just for GWiz purposes just to see if it'll work and sure enough it did. Um, apparently there was an update that I missed uh, not too long ago. I didn't remember downloading and apparently it fixed this problem. Um, so going from here, uh, I opened up, didn't need that. Uh, going from here you hit File, Save and we can just go ahead and call this anything. There we go. And save it to the desktop. And that's it. We can close out of all this stuff. And there is your screensaver. Now the only thing else you have to do is go into your library, which is in the finder. Uh, there's library right there. Um, and then you have to go down to screensavers right here. And there it is. I've already got it in there. Uh, there's a couple other screensavers that I've made. And that's it. Um, like I said, you have to keep the file wherever you keep, like you have to keep the video file wherever you have it. So say if I were to use this screensaver, this file could not move. Once I moved it, it didn't work anymore. Go into here, go into your screensaver settings, scroll all the way down, there it is. There's the video, or there's the screensaver, and that's all there is to it. I'm going to put the uh, screensaver at the end of this video. Uh, be sure to rate and subscribe for more episodes. I don't know if I'm going to do uh, too many how-to videos. I just wanted to get this out there for everybody that's got a Mac. I wanted to show how easy it was to make your own screensaver on a Mac. So hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Be sure to rate and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.